According to Carl Jung, the pioneer of analytical psychoanalysis, the human psyche has archetypical ideas that existed before we were born. These are what form the foundation of personalities and human behavior. They influence our behavior, trigger emotions, and give us a sense of personal meaning. In this video, we will discuss the 12 spiritual archetypes that determine our spiritual development. The spiritual archetype refers to behavioral patterns that determine our emotional, psychological, and spiritual development. There are 12 spiritual archetypes. Let's take a closer look at each of these spiritual archetypes. Number 1, The Alchemist. The Alchemist is the Wizard. This archetype loves change and transformation. In turn, they look forward to the possibilities and changes that the future holds. Alchemists seek spiritual unity, blessings, atonement, and alignment through the practice of rituals, spells, and ceremonies. Often, these rituals, spells, and ceremonies include the invocation of non-physical beings such as spirits and elemental forces through the careful arrangement, manipulation, or construction of physical objects. To an alchemist, service, sacred rites of passage, and everyday acts of faith aid in strengthening their connection to the divine. Number 2, The Ascetic. Do you seek self-perfection, to the extent of foregoing material possessions? You could be the ascetic archetype. The ascetic is also known as the yogi in Eastern spiritual tradition. This spiritual archetype is dedicated to experimenting with, mastering, and obtaining higher states of consciousness. Also, the ascetic archetype pursues a spiritual journey characterized by the denial of bodily needs. The ascetic spiritual practices almost always involve some degree of abstinence or rigorous training. Number 3, The Cenobite. The Cenobite archetype values the sense of belonging to a spiritual family. This personality derives their human connection when in the company of like-minded people. In turn, the Cenobite creates meetups and social communities with other persons that share their thoughts, objectives, and dreams. Due to their selfless nature, Cenobites have unconditional love for others. Still, in the absence of boundaries, this love may turn into unhealthy codependency. Moreover, Cenobites may also have the tendency to give in to mindless groupthink by allowing others to make their decisions. Conformity and the sacrificing of one's needs and dreams may also result in communal situations. Number 4, The Devotee. Do you find yourself drawn to a spiritual journey characterized by devotion to a deity or spiritual figure? If so, your dominant personality is the devotee spiritual archetype. See, the devotee worships, commits to, and serves a god or goddess, Buddha, Jesus, the Holy Mother, or any other divine power. More so, the devotee prefers growing while under the guidance and support of an experienced spiritual teacher or mentor. Typical traits of a devotee include being receptive, passionate, trusting, open, determined, and humble. Number 5, The Disciple. Anyone with a dominant disciple spiritual archetype is a natural learner. Such persons thrive under the guidance of a spiritual leader by listening and learning from them. Usually, disciples are loyal and passionate supporters of a single teacher, ideal, creed, doctrine, or religious teaching. They find great support, confidence, security, and emotional closure in their chosen spiritual path. Number 6, The Hermit. Are you a loner? The Hermit's spiritual archetype prefers solitude. Anyone with this personality is introspective, pursuing a spiritual journey away from distractions. However, not all introverts have the Hermit as their dominant archetype. Similarly, the Hermit finds internal balance when meditating or studying spiritual aspects of life. 
But note that this solitude can turn into self-absorption and leading a secretive lifestyle. Number 7. The Mystic. Now, the mystic spiritual archetype is naturally intuitive and sensitive. Hence, this archetype relies on feelings to discern messages from the spiritual realm. For example, the mystic may view their current struggles as a necessary step to discover their true nature and connect to a higher calling. In turn, they hardly find pleasure or satisfaction in riches, fame, or status in society. They also view themselves as one with the universe. Consequently, they devote their lives to finding divinity in all aspects of life. If you are the mystic archetype, you will be drawn towards transcending the ego and melting the boundaries between you and infinite consciousness. To you, the ultimate achievement in life is the unio mystica, the spiritual marriage between the self and the soul. Number 8. The Prophet. When the Prophet's spiritual archetype is dominant in you, you become the channel through which the spiritual realm communicates to humanity. As a Prophet, you have the gift of channeling and enlightening humanity with sacred knowledge. Whether through metaphysical gifts such as second sight, mediumship, and clairsentience, or through practices such as deep meditation and self-hypnosis, you are able to gain insight from spirit guides, angels, nature spirits, ancestral souls, or consciousness itself for the benefit of others. In this world, you serve as a vessel or open channel through which wise, profound, predictive, and crucial guidance can be accessed. Number 9. The Rebel. The rebel spiritual archetype is a truth seeker. Anyone with this personality trait uses their insight to sieve through ideologies, illusions, and myths. That way, they tell apart the truth from misconceptions. Also, the rebel archetype leads a lifestyle detached from any misleading spiritual concepts. Your ability to see through, challenge, reject, uproot, and expose limiting beliefs, traditions, and ways of life make you a powerful force of change in the world. Spiritually, your ability to see the truth is what endows you with immense wisdom and sacred understanding so often lacked by others. Your desire to reveal the truth at all costs is what makes you so loved and, at the same time, so feared by others. Number 10. The Sage. The sage spiritual archetype is a knowledge seeker, a philosopher at heart who seeks to understand and teach the mysteries of existence. Anyone with this archetype invests most of their lifetime to study sacred texts, quotes from spiritual teachers, or any other material that will deepen their connection with the divine. More so, these individuals can articulate their wealth of knowledge to others, either in writing or by speaking. Eventually, as a wise philosopher, the sage takes up the role of a spiritual guide or teacher in spiritual communities. Number 11. The Saint. The saint's spiritual archetype has great compassion for humanity. This archetype views all life forms as sacred and needs to be preserved. As a result, they engage in benevolent causes like giving to charity, looking after endangered animals, or advocating for the rights of the needy and vulnerable in society. The saint archetype values action as the highest form of love. Dogma and spiritual theories mean nothing to the saint if they can't be backed by loving action. Number 12. The Shaman. Finally, the shaman spiritual archetype is a healer and a gifted storyteller. The shaman archetype is also known as a medicine man slash woman or a healer. This spiritual archetype helps other people heal on a soul level. If you are the shaman archetype, you feel the most spiritually fulfilled when you're helping others find health and wholeness again. Deep within you, there is the urge to heal other people of their ailments, whether they be physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual. Conclusion so, what is your spiritual archetype? Note that your dominant spiritual archetype can change over time. 
You may be a natural learner during your teen years and then transform to become a sage or shaman as an adult. These changes are due to our surroundings and interactions with different people and places over time. I hope you like this video, subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.